Hello! Ah, Easter time again, where we commemorate the hatching of the world from the mighty universe egg. But, bit of a disappointment this year. The pound shops had all the same stuff in as last year, and most of it isn't very interesting. So much so that I was going to cancel the Easter special. But then I spotted Kinder had a load of weird stuff out, so I just went and bought a load of Kinder eggs and got some miscellaneous Easter stuff from the past I had knocking around. Phew! Easter is saved, everybody! Let us begin with... Well, a slightly surprising thing, actually, which is probably why they've written surprise on the front of the egg. All the Kinder stuff um, in large eggs this year seem to be branded in some way. For instance, Transformers Robots in Disguise, a sort of uh, slightly anime-inspired um, take on the old Generation 1 stuff there, I would have said by a quick look. Look, it's Optimus Prime and his friend, Fumblefee. So, what do you actually get? A sort of plastic transformer toy, obviously, with a weird Autobot watch, not quite understanding that. And they've noticed they've got two very distinct um, sides to this. So that, does this mean we're basically either going to get Optimus Prime or Bumblebee? Well, we shall see, my friends. It still disappoints me that uh, Bumblebee is no longer a Volkswagen. He's some sort of Camaro or something these days, isn't he? Which is a bit of a shame. I don't know, I've heard the classic one, but uh, Volkswagen don't particularly want to be uh, associated with anything violent or war-related due to uh, their dubious origins, shall we say. Right. Well, it's literally just the egg, and that's what you want, a giant Kinder Egg. Ah, rich beyond the dreams of avarice. So I'm going to assume it's just like a big Kinder Egg, but I know basically what it is inside, because I've this is actually the second one I've bought. The first one I had in a box and it got horribly crushed um, when I fell over entering the house. Um, so this is kind of a replacement one. But it does mean we've got two insides. So yes, it's the Kinder Chocolate all properly sealed together. And it's exactly the same as you get in the small egg. It's very nice. Oh my goodness. Now this, this is the cream of it, isn't it? A giant Kinder capsule, I suppose is the best term for it. I was going to call it a pill, but um, trying to swallow these would probably be bad news. So I'm going to guess it's either going to be the Optimus Prime thing or the Bumblebee thing. And the answer is, it is the Bumblebee thing. There he is. So how does this work? Now that obviously goes in a child's wrist, and that's probably not going to fit on mine. Ow! Ow! I'm going to say no on that. Um, so this clips onto there, like that, okay. Oh, little Autobot logo. And there's actually, yeah, there's no articulation on it whatsoever. And there's one of these. Hmm. Hmm. Plot is thickening. Also, there is... Oh, this looks like a target that you'd stand up and then fire things at. Right, we've got something here. Right, you stand over there, mate, and fall over immediately. Yeah, that's perfect. Well done. Well done. Yeah, you just sit over there. <clears throat> right, so how does this work? Right, click that on. We work that bit out. So, oh. Oh. That's a bit less exciting than I thought, actually. Um, so, basically... Ah, these go on his back. Because it gives him wings or something. I don't quite remember the characters having those, but there we are. And apparently this is just like a wrist thing that fires these things out. And how does that work exactly? Hmm. I'm going to push it until it goes click. Oh, you, just, you literally just push it by... <laughs> I get it. So you push it behind a little bumper and you push it hard and then it flies out through the own force of itself. Marvellous. Well, that's exciting, isn't it? And a little statue. Of thing. I mean, it's all right. It's you know, half decently made. Um, the paint job on the face is quite good, actually, because that's extremely small. But overall, not that exciting, because it doesn't, you know, do anything. I, mean, I suppose all the action is concealed in your wrist blaster. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I was expecting something a bit better. At least it's physically larger than you could get in a normal Kinder capsule. And now we can open the other one that I smashed. Dun 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 dun. Already eaten the chocolate. It was very nice. I'm hoping we get Optimus Prime. Oh, bums and tits. I really want to see the Optimus Prime. Do you know what? They're selling these off cheap in the shop at the end of my road. I'm going to go jump cut, buy one, and bring it back, and we'll see if we get Optimus Prime. Ta-da! I've got so much of this chocolate now, you would not believe. Right. It is. Please be Optimus Prime. Please be Optimus Prime. Oh, bloody hell. There's another four quid I've wasted on this tat. Well, I've now got an army of bumblebees. 
<laughs> if there are any particularly uh, big Bumblebee fans out there who want multiple um, small statues. <laughs> ah, but which is the best one? Answer, they're all freaking identical. Exciting. Oh well. Well, they did another one too. They did do a different design that I've had to jump cut to because I lost the bloody thing. It is a My Little Pony version. Gee, I wonder what this will be. I'm guessing just something like this, except a My Little Pony, I would imagine. Didn't really know My Little Pony was still a popular thing, so uh, there's something. Mind you, how long have the Transformers been going now in various guises? Ages, bloody hell. Who remembers Beast Wars? Not me, I'm a bit too old. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, hmm. Small plastic horse thing. It was a unicorn, look. It, it has a piercing on its face and a actual hair tail thing. Great. And this fits in with a sort of rubbery... Oh, it's a Pegasus as well. My God, it's a unicorn and a Pegasus. Anything else? It's also a solicitor and a Ghostbuster. And I'm assuming this is a... Is that something that sits in? I don't... I don't really know. I'm going to assume it's a comb. That was fun. So, yeah, well, I suppose actually these do seem to be better than the Transformer things in that, um, I don't know, it works better with a the scale. There's a bit more to it with a hairy... T uh. You let us down, Kinder. You let us down bad. You know what that means? Donald has been unleashed. Yes, the spirit of Easter. This was actually made by a company called Easter Unlimited. Unlimited in the extra dimensional sense, I am assuming. So, rip off Donald Duck riding his uh, horrifying tricycle of death. Even he is scared to touch the handlebars. Yeah, this is a very cheap toy. I would guess this must be 1960s. Uh, maybe a bit more. It came from a shop in America. It was kindly donated. Um, Whatever was on the back originally is missing. I wonder what that was. But whatever it was, it moved. So you wind it up, and it goes along with the wheels, as one would expect. But equally, this little bit ratchets backwards and forwards. So whatever was on the back was repeatedly smacking Donald in the back of his fake head. I just realised there's writing on his head. Item number... 3732, presumably from when it was a uh, used as police evidence for some sort of horrifying extra-dimensional crime. Yeah, good old Donald, back when he was just an orange lump with a terrifying face. Those were the days. I'm wondering if the back of it would have been like a rip-off Mickey Mouse or something. We may never know, and thank God we won't. Right, let's grab another Kinder thing. They're doing these this year. It's a rabbit kind of. A blue rabbit, well known for not wearing vests, like this one is. And it seems to have a Kinder Surprise egg inside it. I'm not really sure what actually is going to live inside this. Um, I'm going to guess just one of the capsules and this whole thing will be the chocolate. That is my guess. Let's find out. They're meant to have exclusive innards anyway, so we don't just get the normal tat. Oh, it's nicely moulded. And again, I've got so much of this bloody Kinder chocolate now, it's unbelievable. Right, Going to be honest, that cracked a bit more easily than I was assuming it would. I was right, though. There's just a single capsule inside. And inside the single capsule, I genuinely don't know what... Ooh. Ooh. It's a rabbit. It's like a rabbit in a funny hat sticking its thumb up, I think. Hang on. Get on there. Get on there. There we are. Oh, he's a bit thoughtful as well. Hmm. I've thought about this situation, and now I give it the thumbs up with my weird felt ears and my little sailor's cap with a... Uh, treble clef on it, for some reason. Hmm. Wearing training shoes. What, what is the deal with this? Let's have a look. Oh, they're just hip-hop animals playing? What? <laughs> How does that work? How bizarre. So, yeah, one of them is rapping. This guy is standing by and giving the thumbs up while he raps. He, no, he's playing baseball. Um, he's roller skating, and that one's got a flower. Oh, I was expecting something a bit more interesting rather than a pretty much entirely plain moulded, unpainted uh, thing. <sighs> the sad thing is, I bought another three of these bloody things. Jump cut. Bloody marvellous. So we've got two of these thumbs up guys. There we are. If anybody wants a thoughtful rabbit, uh, don't buy these because they're shite. Um, we've got the baseball bat wielding chick thing, again with a bit of felt in his head. And the one throwing the baseball. Well, that's something, I suppose, isn't it? There we are. That's a set. I'm very underwhelmed with this stuff, Kinder. Very underwhelmed. Now we're going to have to look at something else frightening. Happy Easter, everybody. 
Can we get that in uh, shock there? How old is this chick, do you think? It sort of has the features of a very, very old creature. It's got tiny little wings, burnt with the uh, charred flesh of its enemies, presumably. A little bit of painting on the top. And my favourite thing of all is it has a friction motor. No idea how old this is. Probably mid to late 70s, I would have said. But it's the friction motor that makes it. Well, it's not going to be able to zoom along on the old sofa there, but you get the idea. Why you would want this zooming across the floor, I don't know. I'm going to assume it's a device to enrage and frighten dogs, which I think it would be quite effective at. How did it fit in that egg? It didn't. It's put the egg on afterwards to confuse people. It's not a chick at all. It's a demon pretending to be a chick, so it will be raised by chickens. I mean, look, even the broken bits don't match up with what's below it. Oh, we've sussed you out, demon chick. We've su sussed you out. That's slightly more worrying when you zoom in on it than I actually thought it would be. Which do you like best? If the answer is either of them, run away immediately. Right, final kinder thing. Let's have a look at a tiny egg that has Justice League stuff in. There's um, Green Lantern with his head squashed off, and there's Superman with the world's biggest chin. I'm going to be so sick of this chocolate by the end of Easter. Right. Oh, blimey. A bit of a shatter on that one. I'm hoping this is more exciting than the Bumblebee stuff, and I'm pretty sure it won't be. Oh my god, what? Oh, bloody hell. It's just some big-headed, juggy-eared goodness knows what. This one's supposedly Robin, looking a bit Teen Titans-y. Mm. Is that a hinge? What? Does the head open? Why is this thing on the back of the head? What? Is that chiropractic action? What is going on here? I'm very confused by the existence of this. Right. Uh, yeah, you, you can turn the head and it's a keyring. Download the free Magic Kinder app. I tell you what, that ain't going to happen. Oh, they're all awful. Look at them. You can get uh, Green Lantern and Joker and The Flash and what I presume is some sort of Catwoman based loosely off that uh, Batman Returns Michelle Pfeiffer version. Something that I think is supposed to be Batman but looks more like an idiot. You've got one... Oh my god, look at Superman. He looks like a caricature of Ronald Reagan. What the hell is going on with these things? Why have they got this giant thing in the back? Why are they going... They're rubbish. Rubbish. Hate it. Violently hate it. Puh. A, f a pox on you all, Kinder. I've gone through the whole lot of stuff here and there's been nothing particularly good. Ah, oh, well, at least the chocolate is nice. And now, to finish up, here's a handy corn. <clears throat> I don't really know if this is particularly Easter related, but it is now, I've decided. From... Arch Lunatics, Archie McPhee, who uh, like to make sort of uh, slightly worrying um, party favours and things. So the idea here, one presumes, yep, that's that's this is going to be a thing, isn't it? Um, oh God, how did you get into the bag? Hang on. Right. Oh God, nope, don't escape. Right, so I'm going to put one hoof on there, one hoof on there, a hoof there, and a hoof there. And put the head on here. And you've got a weird, spidery, vaguely crippled looking unicorn head. It looks a lot like that standard horse mask you see a lot of, uh, yes. Except with a nice horn stuck to it. So, yeah, that, that's kind of... Uh, uh, there's something really creepy about that, actually. <laughs> If I put it on wrong fingers, and I think that's the best I can get out of it. That's that's a hell of a thing, um, and not really in a good way. Copyright McPhee. I, do you know what, Archie McPhee? I don't think I would have actually uh, fessed up to making this thing. I would have just left it at the. Uh, thing to say this looks like a a very early enemy you would encounter in a massively multiplayer online game, maybe. Um, yeah, it's certainly not the end of level boss, is it? Subscribe for more.